So if you're watching this video, it's because one of us, one of the doctors recommended that you watch this video and start doing it. So I, first thing I wanna say is make sure that you've actually been assigned this video if you're gonna do this stretch. Don't do it unless we told you to do it. So if you're just randomly browsing through YouTube and you found this video and you decided to do it, that's my disclaimer. It's not for everybody. It's for the people we have analyzed, examined, and we're recommending this specific stretch for. So a lot of people have tight quadriceps. A lot of people, when they're stretching the quadricep, they'll just hold on to something for balance, grab their ankle like this, and pull up like this. It's not a bad way to stretch, but I've seen a lot of people swing it back like this to get a big stretch. I don't really like that just because it's not a stable position to be in. You could fall and you may be straining your low back. If you want to stretch this way, you need to just hike your hip forward just a little bit and get a stretch here. But I've got a way better stretch for you. It's kind of a dynamic quadricep stretch. You're going to use the antagonist muscles to stretch the quadricep. It works a lot better. You get much permanent muscle length changes with it. So we're going to ask Katie to help us demonstrate for that. Katie's going to lie down on her side and at home you're going to lie on your side and make sure you have a pillow under your head so that your head doesn't fall. You want your neck supported. You're going to lie on your side and with your bottom hand you're going to grab the bottom leg like Katie's doing. Then with this hand you're going to grab the top of the foot of this one. You want to stay parallel with the ground and what she's going to do, this is really simple, without using her hand to pull, she's going to use her gluteal muscles and her hamstrings to swing that knee back behind her. As she does, she's going to feel a stretch through here. Do you feel that, Katie? Yes, I do. Good. And all you're going to do is squeeze as hard as you can for two seconds, and then you're going to come back a little bit to release the tension, and you're going to swing out again. So you're going to count one Mississippi, one Mississippi, back, again, two Mississippi, two Mississippi, back, again, three Mississippi, three Mississippi, up to ten. Now, some one of the mistakes that people make is when they bring this knee back, They'll grab here and the, this knee will swing up high. You don't want that to go towards the ground. You want it to stay parallel with the ground. And it's really, that's it. Support your neck when you're doing it. Hold on tight with both hands. Bottom hand holds the bottom leg. Top hand holds the top leg. Use your muscles to swing the leg back. Don't pull with the hand. The hand just anchors your ankle. Enjoy. Let us know if you have questions.